I'm here with my dad and my family years ago realized that they didn't belong just to me. That my dad, um, from when I was in middle school, my friends who didn't have a father around would borrow my dad, call my dad, dad. On up to high school, college. Today. Today. And um, I have been blessed to have a phenomenal, not perfect, but phenomenal father for me. And a great mom, phenomenal mom, super brother, and an amazing grandmother too. My dad's mom who shaped a lot of my character. And my mother's mother, who I spent a lot of my adult years with. And I'm very clear that my family, as well as my life, um, we belong to humanity to help people learn how to love, forgive, support, embrace, encourage, and soar. So I'm excited to be with um, the most special man on the planet to me. Um, the first, my first love. Um, from very early on, I was yours. You were mine from day one. And um, you, you taught me limitless. You taught me the concept of, if you want it, baby, baby girl. That's what he calls him, baby girl. <laughs> you want a baby girl? Go get it. It's what made me believe that I can run track, do synchronized swimming, be a quarterback, <laughs> um, cheerlead, be the captain of the track team. It's what made me believe I could do all of those things. You would all say, you want it, baby girl? Go do it. There's a requirement. And you just gave me wings. And you didn't always have those wings. No. <laughs> I can't remember wings at all. <laughs> but it was just, I don't know, it was something that was instilled in me from the beginning. My How mom, could you give me something that you feel like you didn't have? Because that's what I wanted. And I wanted you to have it. I, I didn't want you to want for too much. And I didn't want you to go astray. I didn't look for it. That's why I was always willing to be there, sacrifice my time. And much as I like to get out and run, uh, I knew I had responsibility. Long before there was a motivating the masses, there was Lisa. <laughs> yes, there was. Yo, baby girl. <laughs> my baby girl. <laughs> I've always been a daddy's girl. And um, you have had so much to do with who I am. They asked you to, to be the coach. To be the coach. To coach, and they would help. They were going to help me out. So I took that, and I went around and gathered up as many of the boys as I could. And there was a few girls in there that wanted to play. You, for one. <laughs> and we I was were, a big tomboy. Yes, yeah, you, you were a big. You were a tomboy. They didn't want you to play though. See, because you outdone them. You outran them, you out threw the ball, you know, you, instead of grabbing the flag, you were tackling them. And <laughs> they didn't like it because you were good at it. I was gonna be there with you anyway. So I'm not gonna let you get hurt, as far as I was concerned, even though I couldn't control some of the situation. But you had every right to be there. You said I wanted to play, so you, I'd let you play. You let me play in life too. I let you play everything, when you wanted to go swimming, when you wanted to have the uh, the girl ba uh, water ballet team. Synchronized swimming. Synchronized swimming. You signed me up. I was the only little chocolate girl <laughs> in the pool for a while. I'm, I'm just doing my little, yeah, yeah. my little do 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 You couldn't make that team, though. But then you guys made up your own team. And then our team went to it city went championship. Went to city and championships. Took city and championship. took city championships. Like, don't try to I lock mean, us was, out. It was, it, was, it was like, okay, you don't want us to play with you. We'll play on our own, but we're going to beat you. It's the same thing with swimming. And then you let me do track. <laughs> and then you wanted to do track, and we did track. And I didn't want you to do the hurdles, because I, 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 I felt, you know, you stumble in hurdles and you really get hurt. And, but, you know, you made, you made that as easy to do as running track. And then you wanted to get out. <laughs> I wanted to hang out, go to basketball, football games. Yeah, go to football games. And play dominoes at our friends' house. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, those were really good days. You played the dominoes. You learned well. I learned I, from my daddy. I, I had to admit, I taught you well. You taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> you taught me well. I taught you well. But it was, those were great years. I, you know, you can get those back. 
No, thank you. You just you, have Dad. to remember. Them. I love you. No, thank you, because I, 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 I couldn't have asked for two better kids in life. You really gave me a foundation of a, a man in my presence, a man's man, because you not only took me on that date, and when we got to the front door at the end of that date, you opened the door for me, and when I, when I, and I shared this on the video, and I went to go in the door, you closed it again to get my attention. I looked at you, I said, what's wrong, Daddy? You said, I took you on your first date, so you get to see. How man's supposed to treat you. And then you said, how you allow them to treat you is on you. It's on you. I remember when I was uh, in my teens, and um, you always showed me this level of strength, and, and you always showed me what it's like to be willing to stand beside someone and, and love them and, and want to give them love and want to take away any pain that they might have. Now, this, might be, this is going to be personal, and, and I might embarrass you a little bit. I don't know <laughs> if you remember but um, I, was, I was about 15 or 16, and I used to have severe cramps, <laughs> debilitating cramps. Remember that? Oh, do I remember that. <laughs> I used to have severe, debilitating. Uh, I would have to stay home from school for two days. I would get medication. I, was, I had prescription medication for my cramps. It just was, it ran in our family. Yes. And the women in my family, we just struggled with, with severe pain. And I remember sitting on the bed one day, and I'll never forget this because this just showed me love. It showed me selfless love. I remember I was sitting on the bed on 109th and Crenshaw. 109th and Crenshaw. <laughs> and you, do you remember you, like, okay, I'm going to turn my back and put your finger in my back. Remember, mm -hmm. you used to put your finger in my back like this, mm -hmm. and you would say, channel. Channel. All your pains into my finger. And give daddy your pain. Give me your pain. And we would sit there for until you felt better. And that was just, I don't know where I got that from. I don't think <laughs> that's anywhere there. No, because the other one was, I would have you put your finger in the middle of my hand. You say, press hard as you can. Don't worry about the pain on me. Just give me all your pain. And come on, baby. <laughs> Just give me all your pain. You remember them days? <laughs> Do I remember them? I never forgot them. And so I've often told people that sometimes someone's biggest purpose, their life purpose, is so obvious and so easy that they don't even tap it as their life's purpose. And I truly believe watching you nurture my cousins, watching you stand in father for them. Like, I know you are my cousin's daddies, mm -hmm. like you are my daddy. Watching you love on Margaret, watching you love on Jay, watching you love on Susie, watching you love on my entire tribe, watching you bring that paternal energy, knowing the thousand things that no one else will never know that you did for me that you forget because it was effortless for you. I truly believe, Daddy, mm -hmm. that one of your purposes was being a great father to those who don't have a daddy. And those who were blessed enough, those few, those three few were blessed enough to be connected to you. So I know you may not, you may not look at it as you did all the things you're supposed to do. And I understand that. And I don't want to minimize that. <laughs> but I will tell you what I think one of your purposes were that you're not even aware of because it was so, not easy, but you've done it so effortless, was being a great dad. Mm. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. I still love you. <laughs> you still love me? <laughs>